Hello everyone, uh, this is Oblik here with Let's Play Defender's Quest Part 2. Um, I know the last video, the quality wasn't perfect. Um, the, the mouse kind of turned out to be a black block, and I think the, the cause of that was being in full screen mode. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but I've been playing around with it a little bit, and I think I fixed it. Um, the size of this window is... I think something really strange it's it's not anything standardized and as far as I know um, I can't change the uh, the side the window size so uh, it might look a little bit weird at first I'm gonna keep playing with it later on uh, to see if I can change it for the better uh, but for right now uh, I just kind of want to keep playing this uh, it's a fun game and yeah so, if I remember correctly, uh, the last time we just finished this, um, yeah, we were in the Colosseum, and we killed the Revenants, and it's never happened before, according to the story, and right now we're going to the prison. So, anyway, Osmo's Prison. Osmo's Prison, town of slaves and gladiators, a mix of deplorable scum and innocent bystanders, all eager to escape. So let's go in and see what happens. Okay, what did you do? I felt like my heart was being pulled in two directions at once. Sorry, but I don't really know. All I know is it works. We're alive, though. That's gotta count for something, right? Alive and going insane, apparently. Ye gods, I need a drink. <laughs> that makes two of us. Ezra, over here. How do you know my name? The guard will be back soon. You need to listen if you want to make it out if you're alive. Who are you? A friend. Listen carefully. Tomorrow, Azamal is going to try to sell you to, the, to a man in red. I can't let that happen. He will send you to the Colosseum again to demonstrate your skills. How do you... When this happens, I will cause a distraction. You must make your escape at that moment. Take this scrap. Use it to bribe whatever help you can from the follow fellow prisoners. You must be ready for tomorrow. Why are you helping me? For now, it's safer if you don't know. Find me at the monastery. I will explain everything there. All right. Azra, you must not... F fall into his hands so he gives us some money um yeah so now it explains apparently denizens of the pit use this junk as currency you can purchase equipment and hire new defenders in in towns <coughs> it's strongly recommended you hire a few berserkers and buy weapons before leaving no each hire gets more expensive yeah uh like i said i, I have been playing this game to death and uh, the recruits do get extremely expensive. So right now, uh, they're about 40. Uh, in my game, they're around 10,000. And I still don't have all the, the possible defenders. So, and it gives you a quick description. It says, uh, Berserker, melee class, the fastest attacks. They basically just a bunch of little needlers. Uh, quickly hits many targets for medium damage, best against groups of weak enemies. Uh, you can choose their name, I usually just kind of, whatever, I really don't care. And I usually randomize this until I get something that looks kind of interesting. Um, and that looks good enough. So let's hire this guy. Hooray! Teluman! Uh, the Berserker joined your party. Uh, let's grab one more. Damn, that dude was pale. Yeah, that looks good. So... Zewan. All right, so we got some uh, got some money left over to buy stuff. Okay, buying weapons, one of two. These are weapons for sale. Click on a weapon type uh, to make the buy button appear. Remember to equip them. Blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, so this is this is where the RPG elements start uh, popping in. Uh, you you hire rec recruits and you buy them equipment. You equip them. Uh, it makes them a little bit better. So, 
right now it looks like I can buy one of these and two of these. Normally I wouldn't do this, normally I'd just wait until I could buy three of them, but uh, this early in the game, it, it works. Uh, and right now we can't recruit any rangers, so we'll just stick with upgrading these guys. And as far as I know, um, as far as I know, the main characters, so uh, there's several classes, and each time you get a new class, you get a character to represent that class. Uh, so for, so we have Slack for the Berserkers, we have Keta for the Rangers, and so on. I'm pretty sure that there is no difference between the main character and their, their counterparts. Um, so once everyone reaches level 2, their base attack will be 6, and their, their speed will be 10.25, their regen will be 3.15. Um, real quick rundown, attack just controls your, your the, the, the power of your attack. Range is how far they can hit, at least initially. Uh, the speed is how fast their attacks regenerate. Uh, defend is basically defense. The higher your defense, uh, the more you can absorb. Evade is evade. Uh, you have a 10%, these guys have a 10% chance of dodging an attack. And regen is how quickly you regenerate health. I'm not exactly sure how the formulas work, uh, but I know, I'm pretty sure that defense, def whatever your defense is, it'll subtract that much from an attack. So if your defense is 10 and someone only does 9 damage, it's not going to do any damage to you. If it's 11, you'll take 1 damage. Um, one last thing, these guys can't use armor. They are straight up, you know, berserker classes. They just attack. Uh, they they can still be considered mild tanks because their regen is much faster than any other class. But anyway, that's enough of rambling and discussion. Uh, let's leave town and see what happens. So, looks like a new battle appeared. So we're going back to the Colosseum. Return to the Colosseum, just like I said. Osmo demonstrates Azra's talents for a strange guest. So let's begin. So, my honored guest, how are things in the outside world? The plague has destroyed the Quaid Empire entirely. Nothing remains but a twisted, inhumane hordes of the infected. Well, that's something to, to rejoice at. Now it spreads into the Ash Kingdom. If nothing is done, this disease will accomplish what the Quadian Quadian War could not. Well, as long as panicked Ash Ash Shani, as long as panicked Ash, Ash, Ashani keep exiling the infected here, we Lords of the Pit will stay in business. Uh, the plague's monstrosities are quite valuable to the man who knows how to use them, eh? Enough of this small talk. Where is this girl? Over there. I think you will be interested in her abilities. We shall see. She enters a trance, and her companions seem to fade into nothingness. All around them, the revenant fall dead in heaps, as if slain by invisible blows. So, uh, yeah, apparently, uh, in terms of the outside world or the living world, you can't see what they're doing. Uh, but, luckily... We have the advantage of being the player, and we can see exactly what's going on. Show me. Guards, release the Revenant! So apparently, uh, Revenant is both the singular and plural, by the way. Uh, if you've hired more Berserkers, Azra can summon them to the halfway world by selecting the Berserker menu. Slack is still your best fighter. Boost him to use double hit attack. So yeah, right now Slack is still the best fighter because he um, he's on level two. So we'll put him there because the first is the first group is coming from that direction. We'll put this guy here and we'll boost him as well. Uh, also, um, why not? We'll put her there and then we'll wait. So yeah, again, these first few battles are pretty boring, there's not much strategy involved, it's kind of just like, put your guys down and they will kill stuff. Um, yeah. So far, still, I don't think we've encountered anything that can attack back. 
Uh, so for for the most part, our fighters are are uh, pretty much invincible. Oh damn, I forgot he does not have uh, double hit. So we will boost this side because we'll need it. We'll put him here as well. Um, So yeah, um, what was I thinking? I'm losing my train of thought. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention that uh, each each enemy has, you know, HP and a speed and all that stuff. Oh, kill him, please. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there's there's two ways that you can win. There's two different rankings, I suppose, for each battle. There's winning and a perfect, which the perfect means uh, Azra takes no damage. It doesn't matter if your guys take damage, they are going to take damage eventually, no matter what. Um, but the only way Azra can take damage, dam damage, damage is if um, one of these guys reaches the goal, or her. And that would be my dinner, if anyone can hear that. Um, so yeah, for winning on uh, uh, perfectly, you get a gold star, which um, you get better bonuses at the end of battle and whatnot. It's, I mean, you. I try to just do everything in one go, and only uh, only do it once and do it perfectly the first time. Uh, it's it's a bit. Uh, a bit much. So these guys can attack, and they can only attack um, your fighters. Uh, they cannot. They cannot directly attack uh, Azra. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Even if they are within range, they will not uh, shoot at her. They have little projectiles. These guys are. Uh, these guys are kind of HP tanks. They just have a ton of HP. Uh, a lot more than most uh, most other enemies uh, at their time. So it looks like we we're gonna do this perfectly. Yes, yeah, but they're very slow. So they move slowly. They can attack and all that stuff. Congratulations, defender gained a level. Uh, click on the defender to upgrade skills. I guess no one's gained a level yet. So yeah, you're good. Blah blah blah. Here's the skill tree. Round. Uh, Round skills are techniques, actively used in battle, and the squares are passive traits. So, swiftness. You can increase their speed with swiftness uh, by one, uh, even though it seems like a small number, it's actually pretty helpful. Or you can just make these a little bit more powerful. Mousing over the upgrade button shows what will happen when you upgrade this skill. Uh, click the upgrade to increase this skill by one point. Hopefully these tutorials will stop by the end of this, uh, this video. So it just increases the damage of it a little bit. Um, the cooldown time is still the same. As far as I know, the cooldown time does not change. The only time, the only way it changes is by gaining a level and you increase your speed, or by choosing this trait. Uh, but right now, I just want to upgrade double hit, and I want to give these two guys double hit as well. Aketa, unfortunately, is already on level three, so we can't really do much with her. Azra um, has not gained a level in a while, so let's go back to the map. And then it always asks you permanently assign three skills uh, to three different characters, and yes. Incredible. She sees them for what they really are. She fights them in their own world. So, are you you're interested? Consider the payment double. It is not often I need an equal. What is this? Guards! Sir, the south wall of the Colosseum has collapsed! The prisoners have escaped! What? Release our revenant! Hunt them down! So, yeah. You can go back to the prison, but nothing's here. The prison is empty, and someone blew a hole in the wall, and all the prisoners escaped. But, to make sure that you are not helpless if you didn't buy the equipment that you wanted, or you want to upgrade something else, Shanty. A dilapidated shanty town. Looks like the escaped prisoners took refuge here. You can go to this town real quick. Uh, and you can recruit more people, which I can't do. 
or you can buy more weapons, which is kind of pointless considering everyone has their best weapon, at least for now. So, yeah. So you have all the dramatic music. Anytime you go back to the world map, you get the world map music. So let's go to the next battle. And after that, I think I'll call it a video. A bold escape from the Colosseum takes the party over a river. So, yeah. Uh, I think I explained the normal advance and all that stuff, but now you can get a description. It was cut off before. In casual mode, enemies have reduced hit points and attack damage. Normal challenge, most players should start here. Harder challenge, with greater rewards, come back when you're strong enough. And hardest challenge, with the greatest rewards, be prepared. Um, yeah, so there's a, a vast difference between normal and extreme. And there's actually still a pretty big difference between normal and advanced. And like I said before, I will be coming back to do these later, but uh, right now we cannot do that. So uh, let's set on normal and let's begin. Everyone, this way. It's no use. They're gaining on us. Quick, across the river. We'll hold them off at the ford. There are too many of them. Only one way, one thing to do. Crazy suicide rage time. <laughs> What's that feeling? Slack, I think you're you're on to something. Oh. Frenzy, a new spell. Uh, raises attack rate of all defenders by 40% for 10 seconds. Um, it's actually... That spell is very, very helpful. Uh, right now, it's not that... Uh, not that rewarding, but it will be later on. So let's uh, let's get Slack here. Oh, by the way, this is the first guy that can attack. He has an attack of five. Um, as opposed, it's basically the same thing as this guy. With a little bit less HP, same speed, uh, but now they can attack. So we'll do that. So I upgraded him once, and let's get this guy. Let's put him right there. We'll defend both fronts, and then we'll get. Hedda, and we'll put her hmm, put her right there so she can again defend both fronts um, one of the, the best things to do with your defenders oh, it's on half speed, there we go sorry about that um, is to try to put them in a place where they get the maximum use out of them, even, even your melee guys where you know, you're definitely going to waste some space around them I put him here just to try to thin down the herd, even though this spot right here probably would have been better. He would have had uh, an extra uh, two spots to attack, or maybe one spot. But um, yeah, it's it's. I figured it'd be better to put him right there. Probably should have moved her over a little bit, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Um, hmm. Actually, I might as well put him down as well. Put him right there. Even though he seems to be doing alright by himself, um, Slack at this point is quite a bit more powerful than these guys. So 5.3 damage for Slash, whereas Slack has 7.6. So um, Slack can probably handle his own a little bit better. Plus, Keta's got a lot more area on this side than she does down here. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade her next, and that should be in a couple more enemies. Uh, yeah. Yep, there we go. So when uh, she gets upgraded, she increases her range a little bit, so her range is not a fixed value, whereas these guys it is, it does not change, no matter how much they level, and no matter how much uh, you upgrade them in battle they always have the same range as 1.8 or so it claims. Uh, but it's basically one square uh, all the way around them. And I just want to get this guy upgraded, and then I'm pretty sure I can relax. So yeah, those, those fast guys right now have almost no health, and they, they, they don't pose much of a threat at all. Um... Later on, they get a hell of a lot more health, and 
you kind of have to pound on them for a while for them to go down, but that's not until a little bit later on, so yeah. Right now, not much is happening. Kind of have to wait it out a little bit. As a matter of fact, I think I'll speed it up just a bit. There we go. Just to get some action going. Um, yeah, it looks like Slack might need the help of Keta here in a minute, and hopefully she doesn't get a little overwhelmed from both fronts, but it looks like it looks like we'll hold. Yeah, these these first battles aren't exactly stressful. They're they're meant to be easy, but um, because you you only have a handful of pretty weak defenders, it it can get a little nerve wracking at times. Um, you know, you'll have a guy that's really close to the end, and you think he's gonna get through. But yeah, I think we're all right. Just to be safe, I will boost him up. Uh, it'll put me a little at risk because I won't have en enough to cast any spells, but I think it's worth it. Uh, for the most part, I try to avoid using spells. Um, I think I mentioned that in the first video. Uh, especially lightning, the, the first spell that just does direct damage. It's useful, but mm, only only so much so. Hooray! As regained another level. Uh, let's take a peek at this. Frenzy is actually very, very helpful. Um, upgrading it doesn't do a whole lot, but it is... It can be a godsend at times. Uh, it helps you clear out a big mass of enemies, so we'll do that. No one else got anything, so let's go. Act 2. I spit upon the eyes of the traitor, the murderer of honor. May he drown in his own blood. May he caress... May his carcass rot in the earth. Apologize for that. May Frost Eternal take his bones from the Quaid Oath of Office. Who's ready for round two? I'll tear your faces off and use your skulls to hold decorative house plants? <laughs> Slack, they're all dead. Aww. So, what's the plan now? Well, that mysterious old man said to find him at the monastery. Ah, he must mean the Selini chapter house on the north side of the pit. There are Ash Temple monks here in this plague colony? What better place for a hospital? Come on, I'll show you the way. You trust this guy? Well, he's crazy as hell, sure, but he seems to be loyal. I can't afford to be picky when it comes to friends. No, I don't mean the, the clown, I mean that mysterious old man. If he's an Ash Temple monk, we have nothing to worry about. You think your church has never gotten its hands dirty? You don't have to come if you don't trust him. And give up my chance of escaping with you? I'd take on the whole Ash Kingdom if it meant getting out of, out of this hellhole. Just watch your back, okay? So, we're starting to get a little bit of depth with the characters. Uh, not, not a whole lot, but... Um, I think I'll, I'll equip myself really quick. Uh, actually, no. There's going to be another cutscene there. So, I'll end the video here. So, uh, this is Oblik with Let's Play Defender's Quest Part 2. And I shall see you in Part 3. Until then.